Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's model this one. Okay, so um, I'm going to use. I think um, we can. We can probably use um, use different methods. So um, I think we can use curtain wall, and also we can probably use. Um, adaptive family or pattern based family so and uh, today um, let's try curtain wall okay so let's start so first uh, let's create a uh, project and okay so first wa let's create a wall and um, which one so let's try this one exterior glazing so let's have a look in 3d view Okay, so no mullions, that's fine. So edit type, duplicate, let's create a new new type. So I'll just give give it uh, give it some uh, vertical mullion. I'll just control C, control V, control V. And I think that's it. Okay, so um, and also I'm going to get rid of the horizontal grids. Okay, so horizontal grids and just change it to now. Apply, delete grid line, and I click OK. So another one is we need to get rid. Oh, sorry, not get rid of the panel. We need to set a panel. So the curtain panel cell so currently is none which means uh, Revit will use the system panel glazed by default. So we need an empty panel, okay? So because it looks like empty, right? So um, the one I, I usually use, so insert load family on the curtain wall panel, uh, there is an empty pa panel, but this one only can be used for rectangular shape so for example this one is okay but once we cut we create curved you know edge and it will uh, you won't be able to use it okay so what we can do is so previously uh, in this video so a67 I have this linked we can uh, have this link so this is the sh uh, so this see this one so it's uh, it's actually a empty system panel which can be used for any shape okay so let me just download oops sorry wrong one uh what's going on here so can maybe go back go forward and click on download okay so i'm going to open it in oh sorry i open another one 20 uh, revit 2020 so uh hang on what should I do? Go to download again and open in folder. Um where is it? Oh, don't work. Show in folder. Okay, so yeah. So it's on my other screen, so that's why. Anyway, so um, in here, so actually, I'll just drag this into Revit uh, 2023. So I can just copy this one. So this, Control C, and go into this project, Control V, and paste it. Paste it. So now finish. So now we have, if I tab select, you will see this is an empty system panel can be used uh, for any shape so let's select this uh, uh, curtain wall edit type and change this one to that empty system panel empty system panel yeah so this one and I click ok all oh, good so let me now we can delete delete this one okay so now let's go back to that um, image here so for it looks like a, a circular uh, shape of uh, footprint so maybe we can just oh sorry let me just close uh, 2020 and okay so 
So first, I'm going to create so WA again. So create a circular shape. So maybe something like this. Okay. So it's very uh, big, big circle. And oh, hell, looks like we we used the wrong type. So let's use U new delete grid line, and maybe we can increase this oh, sorry reduce the spacing so currently vertical grid 1.8 maybe i'll just make it 500 and also just remember there's a limit limitation so you i can't i think uh you won't be able to have more than um maybe 200 grid uh emollients in one uh wall curtain wall so if that happens you probably need to split to have um, multiple so okay so this is um, maybe I'll just increase this one so double the height and okay so now how can we make this curve and this curve so of, of course you, you you won't be able to use a modify sub uh, modify profile because this is curved but what we can do is we can use a roof, okay, and then use attach top. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a roof. So a roof, um, and so something like this. So I just roughly draw something like a roof, and also remove the de uh, defined slope. Okay, so just cover cover the whole uh, uh, curtain wall and finish. And okay, so now I'll just uh, increase the height. So cur <coughs> currently it's uh, six, 16 meter, right? Oh, that's oh, sorry. Uh, is that 16 meter? That's, that's 160. So yeah, so now we have a roof on top of this. And then you can use modify sub element. And so, for example, I just lower this by you know three meter, and maybe uh, lower this by three meter as well, and maybe this increase by three meter and increase by three meter. Oh yeah, oops, modify. Just typing number. Okay, so now we have some curved shape happening, right? And what we can do is maybe oh let, let me just inc just make it more uh, dramatic, <laughs> six meter, uh, lower six meter, and increase six meter. So same this one, and you the reason why I doing this is because uh, you will see if 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 I if we do not have a like a what what's that called uh, split lines, so this roof will be. A, curved so this is uh i think yeah so this is what we want so now we can select this uh curtain wall and use attach attach top and click on the roof and then we have a curved pro footprint and curved profile curtain wall okay and also you can always adjust this roof so for example i, I lower this part uh, three meter, and then the um, the curtain wall will automatically adjust to match. Okay, so and you can always and then you don't need uh you, you can't you can't you can you can't delete it because if you delete it, it will, the curtain wall will go back to ori original. Um, what you can do is you can just just uh just make it a temporary so and uh, create in new and demolish in new and then you can just use a face to show uh for example previous new so this will automatically uh, hide the um the temporary uh element okay so this is how we can do it and also uh, for the uh, the button you can do the same um actually i'm going to try something different again so we can also use mass so let me just try uh, model in place and mass and and 
uh, I'll just use reference line, spline through points. So I'm going to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so and then create a form. And then I'll adjust them slightly. Oh, sorry, that's an accident. Uh, select the points so we can adjust them rough uh, to to change the the mass shape all right so and maybe this one go come down a little bit and just try to move this point close closer to here and slightly change the level so now we'll see it yeah so it's um yeah it's a little bit hard to see maybe Give it a material or change. Let me change it to shade SD. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, give it a material maybe. So, so uh, Revit will not use the default mass for for this. So maybe I'll just give it. How about brick? This one. Okay. Yeah. So now you can see the shape of this mass, right? So once finished. Oh, yeah. Once you're happy. And we still need to, to apply something to the, so it can be uh, can be roof or wall. I think this in this case, roof is the only option for us. Sorry, wrong one. Click on this roof by face and pick this one and create roof. So now we have a roof uh, at floor level, and then we can select select this um, tab tab select the whole thing. And then we can attach top base, check the base, pick the roof, and this will uh, change the shape of the the base of this these two curtain wall. Okay, so these are the two. So now you can see, yeah, that's perfect. And now we can just do the same, just uh, demolish in new as well, and also the mass we can demo. Uh, uh, I think let's try. So demolish, yeah, good. So. That's it. So now you can see uh, we have curved, curved footprint, curved top, and a curved base. And then if you want to change the shape, you can always go uh, show. So just change it to show all, and then you can adjust this roof. And you can also adjust to adjust the base. This roof, you need to go to the mass to adjust the mass first, and then select this roof to update to match the mass. So this is it. Let me just change it to complete, show complete. And this is what we can achieve. So this is a, a curtain wall method. So, um, okay, so I think this, this is the best, this is the easiest uh, way of doing this. Uh, another way uh, um, I think is you can use, we can use adaptive family. So the result will be similar, but it can be a slightly uh, more uh, more complicated. But uh, I'll th maybe let me just check all these. So maybe uh, we will talk about this um, maybe after a week. <laughs> so oh, this is interesting. Anyway, so yeah. Okay, I'll talk about this one maybe next uh, week, and we are we we are going to finish some quite interesting little tri tricks, and that's it uh, for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you soon. Bye.